Shopping for babies can be so much fun, but the cost adds up so quickly. So I love shopping on a budget and trying to keep everything for babies as minimal as possible because babies really don't need a ton. I am more of a minimalist when it comes to having all these things around the house and especially for babies. They go through things so quickly that I just don't see a point in spending a lot of money on these things. So today I actually went into the Dollar Tree with my four year old and we checked out the baby section. I grabbed a couple different items to test out for you guys and tell you guys all about awesome products from the Dollar Tree for babies. Hey everyone, my name is Missy Yando. I'm the owner of Slumber and Bloom. I'm a pediatric sleep consultant and potty training coach. So if you love tips and tricks on sleep training, potty training, and all things motherhood, then subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. So today we're talking all about shopping on a budget for babies. And of course we had to hit up the Dollar Tree. Now there are definitely some things at the Dollar Tree that I would say to go for and buy them and save your money but there are also things that I would not necessarily buy from the dollar store so little disclaimer when I went to our dollar store there has not been a lot of stuff in stock like in general in a lot of stores that I've been to lately I don't know if it's COVID related and with shipping times being very variable um, but with what they had we shopped around and checked out all the baby products we're gonna go through five different categories of baby products and supplies that you need for your baby and I'm gonna break it down for you into each category. First, we're gonna talk about baby proofing supplies. Now, I didn't pick any up from the dollar store today because I had so many baby proofing things at home that I did not need to buy any, but from what I saw at the dollar store, I definitely think that it is worth the dollar. There are so many baby proofing products there and they all looked very functional and they have great reviews. So I would definitely grab some of the baby proofing items from the Dollar Tree. Things like outlet covers and other things that go on doors to protect your child from getting out or getting in when you don't want them getting into cabinets or refrigerators or anything like that. Um, those are definitely a necessity and the Dollar Tree has great options. Moving on to category two, I was looking at all of the feeding supplies that they have and they're kind of a hit or miss type of thing. With all the bottles, I am... I'm very partial to the Dr. Brown's bottles. So for me, I am not enthusiastic about the Dollar Tree bottles. I just, I don't know enough about them to really promote them and say that, you know, you should definitely buy them. And as for like all the spoons and plates and stuff like that for when your baby is starting solids, um, it really just depends on what you're looking for. The packs of spoons that they had there, there were lots of spoons for $1. So for me, I would buy them because as your child grows, they're not going to need those small spoons for a very long amount of time. So it's easier for me to justify using them for a short period of time and then throwing them away because you don't need them for an extended amount of time. So just spending $1 on them, I would definitely recommend. So I also grabbed this bottle brush and I feel like when my kids were little, we went through these so quickly. Now, if you're exclusively bottle feeding your baby, then these are going to come in handy. So I would definitely stock up on some of them. You may go through these ones quicker than other ones. Um, this bottom part does detach so that you can either have the suction option or not. Um, and the bristles are pretty soft. I love that it has the sponge on the end of it, um, but you do go through these quickly. Now, the one thing that I don't like about the dollar store one is that it doesn't have have an option to have like a smaller uh, brush for your bottle nipples or for straws because I always clean straws out with these as well so I would definitely check these out give them a try and um, yeah so I wanted to talk about the bibs that they have at the Dollar Tree. I think they are absolutely adorable. These little bandana ones are my favorite ones that they had. They have some really cute designs. Um, the Velcro feels soft. It doesn't feel like it's going to be abrasive or hurt the back of their neck if it rubs up against them. 
and it's so cute um they had i do believe the other designs were like dinosaurs or something like that but i think this was so precious and these are one dollar so just toss them in the laundry and use a couple a day and you've got yourself some super affordable bibs they did have the plastic ones there as well, and those are nice for if you wanna just wipe them down or rinse them off in the sink. They're not gonna be as durable as some of the other brands that you might see with the thicker silicone material, but if you like the plastic ones, then I would definitely say to check those out at your dollar store. Moving into diapering, so they do have name brand wipes, and I would definitely recommend getting those. However, I do think that getting them in bulk is going to be more cost effective. So if it's something that's not gonna go bad, which your diapers aren't gonna go bad unless your baby grows out of them, but if it's not gonna go bad, then I would say to get those in bulk. But if you're going on a short trip and you only need a few, then it's definitely worth it to get the dollar store kind. They did have diapers. I cannot speak to the quality of them because I've never used them, but they do sell those in small packs. So the same thing about the wipes. If you only need a small quantity of them, then go ahead and try them. But I think it's best to get those in a mass quantity. The one diapering product that I love from the Dollar Tree is their disposable diaper bags. I love these. I had these when my kids were little and I've rebought them every time I've needed them. And honestly, like these last so long, but they have this little opening here. So I would typically just cut this off which I just did a terrible job. And you can just pull them out one at a time. They are thin, but they work. And I would just put the diaper in here, tie it up and toss it into whatever garbage can I need to because nobody wants to carry a dirty diaper in their car disgusting and I will tell you that I've been there and done that a few times so um, having these great travel size and there are what 75 there are 75 in here so this is going to last you a very long time so moving on to the next category we're talking about the clothing options that I saw at the Dollar Tree now sometimes they have some shirts or shorts or just like a couple other things but what I really found in the baby section is socks and this is two pairs of socks for $1. And they have the little grippies on the bottom. They had a lot of really cute options. So I definitely recommend grabbing some socks from there. Um, kids rarely keep their socks on. So um, why not just spend less money because you're gonna lose them anyways. So I definitely would recommend getting these. They had a lot of cute little designs. These are little monsters. And these are actually, they had all different sizes, but I got the size 2T to 4T. So I think these will actually fit my four year old. Now we're gonna move on to the bathing and bath time category. So usually there is a lot more bath time stuff at the dollar store than I saw this time, but there's always going to be the shampoo, the lotion, the baby powder you're always going to see stuff like that if you are not particular about brands and ingredients then I would say definitely go for it usually they have like the foam numbers and alphabet but that you can like stick on the wall I didn't see them there this time they usually have those waterproof books that you can bring in the bathtub I didn't see those there this time but I did see this cute little um, sponge scrubby they had a couple different kinds but distracting your child in the bath is always a good idea especially if you have a baby who's not quite sure if they like the bathtub yet. So I loved this little scrubby, spongy washcloth. They had a couple different kinds. I would get them. They also had a bunch of smaller washcloths and larger towels. If you can stock up on some of them at the dollar store, I think they were um, three or four for a dollar. So if you grab those, I definitely think it is worth the very small investment. That is it for this video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to just kind of go and look in the baby section again. But let me know in the comments down below what things that you guys buy on a budget for your baby. And while you're waiting for my next video, check out these videos over here. I have tons of videos on this channel that are very helpful for new families and new parents. So I hope you enjoyed. Keep blooming.